हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल सिस्टम फिगर ए शोस एन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सिस्टम इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेंसर सिग्नल कंडीशनिंग सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग डिस्प्ले रिकॉर्डिंग एंड द डेटा आउटपुट हियर द फिजिकल क्वांटिटी दैट इज नीडेड टू बी मेजर्ड विल एक्ट अपॉन द सेंसर सो दिस फिजिकल क्वांटिटी माइट बी ए टेम्परेचर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट एस टेक वी आर मेजरिंग द टेम्परेचर सो दिस टेम्परेचर विल एक्ट अपॉन द सेंसर दिस सेंसर इन रेस्पॉन्स टू द फिजिकल क्वांटिटी विल प्रोड्यूस द इलेक्ट्रिकल आउटपुट सो सेंसर विल प्रोड्यूस द इलेक्ट्रिकल आउटपुट सिग्नल इन रेस्पॉन्स टू द फिजिकल क्वांटिटी विच इज बीइंग मेजर्ड दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल दैट आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द सेंसर मे बी स्मॉल और मे कंटेन नॉइस नॉइस व्हिच मींस अनवांटेड सिग्नल दैट्स व्हाई सिग्नल कंडीशनिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड सो दैट दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल विल बी इन द एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर्म for the signal processing once the signal is processed the output is given in the form of data output so here there might be a requirement to display the result and also the result can be recorded here usually the signal processing stage will accept signal in digital form that's why an additional stage between signal conditioning and signal processing might be required that stage is known as analog to digital converter at the output stage we might require one more additional stage which is digital to analog converter figure b shows a control system this control system uses negative feedback so advantage of negative feedback is it will stabilize the output so system will be more stable if we use negative feedback so this control system consist of comparator power amplifier control devices and in the feedback stage it consist of sensor signal conditioning output of signal conditioning again it is given as input to the comparator so in this control system some portion of output signal is fed back to the input that is in turn compared with the input signal using a comparator so depending upon the compared value or error signal that is produced by the comparator the output will be controlled so the comparator is used to sense the difference between the two signals if any discrepancies are detected so the input to the power amplifier will be adjusted so that it can produce a signal that controls the control device to produce a proper output now let us understand what is a transducer transducer is a device that converts one physical quantity into another physical quantity so transducer converts one form of physical quantity into another form of physical quantity for example if we take mic which is microphone and speaker here mic will convert voice into electrical signal and speaker will convert electrical signal into voice so here one form of physical quantity is converted into another form of physical quantity in both microphone as well as speaker so this is the example of transducer so transducer can be used as both input or output for the electrical circuit so if we use transducer at the input we call the transducer as input transducer and if we use the transducer at the output we call that as output transducer so we use mic at the input that's why we can call mic as input transducer we use speaker at the output that's why we can call speaker as output transducer 
Now let us understand sensor. Sensor is a special kind of transducer that generates an input signal to a measurement instrumentation or control system. So, sensor is a special type of transducer that will generate input signal to measurement instrumentation or control system. The signal produced by the sensor will be an electrical analogy of a physical quantity. So, it will be in the form of electrical analogy of the physical quantity which is being measured. So, for example, as I told you, if it is measuring the temperature, so the signal that a sensor produces will be electrical analogy of the temperature that is being measured. So, it can be electrical analogy of distance that is being measured, velocity, acceleration, temperature as I told you, pressure, light level etcetera. So, we can measure different physical quantity. So, the output of sensor will be the signal that is analogy of any of these physical quantities. We can categorize sensor as active sensor and passive sensor. The active sensor will generate a current or voltage output. Passive sensor requires current or voltage to produce output. So, here active sensors will generate current or output by themselves, but in passive sensor they require current or voltage from external source to produce the output. So, what it does? It will take current or voltage from the external source. It will modify those current and voltage to produce the output. Sensors can also be classified as digital or analog sensor. So, output of digital sensors will be in the form of 0 and 1 and output of analog sensor will be the analogous signal. This is about instrumentation and control system as well as transducer and sensors. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.